Thanks for the introduction. So yeah, so uh, we we'll talk about uh, mostly about Richie, uh, one of the main uh, project in uh, Poland Robotics, which is an open source robot. Uh, first about myself, uh, I'm a robotic researcher and I design robots since about 12 years. I did my PhD at uh, Inria in France uh, under the supervision of uh, Pierre Boudier. And at the time, I, it's at this time that I build and design a Poppy, one of the first fully open source and fully printed human robot, human with robot, sorry. And since I think uh, I have made uh, more than a dozen of uh, open source robots. And we created uh, uh, Poland Robotics in 2016, mostly like uh, robotics labs. And we, we are now, we have now 12 people doing uh, research in uh, robotics in our company. And one of the, our main focus is bringing robot to real world application, where currently robotic automation uh, fail, uh, even on simple uh, tasks. Um, we all have worked since uh, 10 years on building on research and building robots for tackling this, this task as a team. And we are really, uh, for us, it's uh, really the, the main topic of our, of our research. And as you know, real world robotics is a really uh, uh, complex uh, thing, as you have to, at the same time, be able to manipulate complex objects in various environments, objects that are were not designed for human, uh, for robots, but were designed for, for human. You have to interact with human, among human safely, and you have to be well understood by human around. <coughs> and in addition, you have to be mobile. Uh, so this is completely changing the, the game as the, the robot is never placed the same around a table, around an object. And the environment is always changing. You can't uh, expect to, uh, to be really precise on your initial position and so on. So it's really cow for robotics. And uh, you all know, know that. And for us, it's really, uh, you really need to design a new kind of robot. And we, we call that uh, interactive robot after industrial and cobot. And it's robot will really made to work in uh, unstructured and chaotic environment with people and robots that have to be uh, mobile and tackle a wide range of, um, of tasks. So it's really a different kind of, of robot for us. And you really need to, to design differently the, the robot and the, the software that uh, Programming. And so we designed, we have designed the uh, Wichi uh, since the beginning of uh, Poland, but the official launch was in 2020. Uh, so Wichi is really, uh, really an, an interactive robot made to really uh, <clears throat> manipulate objects. It's a why it's called Richie, it's really to reach things <laughs> uh, initially. Uh, it's built around also interactivity with people and also it's a fully open open source robot. Um, the arm has a seven degree of freedom so we can really uh, have a wide range of uh, mobility. And it's powered by uh, ROS2 and a lot of uh, open source uh, software. And one of its uh, features is the expressiveness of the robot. Managed to do that uh, using both design, but also uh, axis of, of a degree of freedom. So we have designed a, a custom uh, next we call uh, Orbita. And it comes also with uh, antennas that can convey emotions. So uh, the, the design of the head uh, was really important for, 
interactive in, with people. And we, as, as we want to tackle uh, real world uh, manipulation, we really quickly we designed a, a teleoperation app that help uh, people to take the control of the robot anywhere in the world. And actually, it's one of the first uh, complete solution of a, a humanoid robot and teleoperation available uh, right now on the market. And I will show you the video to, about teleoperation and the robot moving. So here you can see that the robot is really following uh, exactly what the operator is doing. And the operator can see uh, in, the ca in the headset what the robot is uh, looking at. And so we can uh, do that from uh, distance. So this is a teleoperation of uh, Wichi. It's uh, thanks to that this app that we have been engaged in uh, XPRIZE uh, uh, contest. We'll uh, discuss that uh, a bit more later. In addition, uh, since we share, the robot is also mobile. We did, we developed uh, a new mobile platform uh, really uh, made to to move around in real world space. So it's we really a small a small bag autonomic so you can move in all directions. So now we have all the three important things for building an interactive robots, so manipulation, interaction, and mobility. Let's show you a bit more of the... So it works uh, the same way with the teleoperation. You just have the, the sticks to move the, the bars around. But you can now uh, really operate the robot in moving. Uh... So yeah, you, you, uh, you have see the, the mobile base is about 50 centimeters wide. And there is a, a leader, so you can map the, the space and do uh, autonomous um, uh, navigation. And so now we we can now do a manipulation task with mobility and interactions. So it's a, it's now a complete uh, exploration platform to, for this kind of uh, works. So as I, guess, I said, uh, Richie is fully open source, so software, hardware, electronics, and so on. Um, we provide uh, all the source from our website. And you have link to uh, all GitHub and CAD files and so on. So if you want to, to go, please go there. And you may uh, ask uh, who is with you using Richie. So currently it's mostly LED people in university, public and private labs. Uh, and we are now, we have now about 60 Richie in the world. And we're preparing a new one since uh, a year now. So it's really an important leap for us because we are, it's really a redesign from scratch to build a more powerful, agile, and available robot. So while the first switchy is more a lab robot to explore real world application, this one is really a real world robot 
that has to work all the way long in real world environment. So the, the arm can handle the way more payload and can work all the day without breaking. And it's really made to be agile and flexible to adapt to really different kind of uh, scenario. And we used the first uh, ever prototype of our Ritchie, uh, new Ritchie to participate to the XPRIZE uh, competition. So XPRIZE is uh, an international robotic competition to, to evaluate different solutions on, on avatar solution. So basically teleoperating robot in a real world scenario. And we reached the second place with this uh, robot. So we mix our new robot and our teleoperation act. I will show you some video. So there is several uh, tasks, uh, mostly uh, manipulation and complex manipulation. So you have uh, all the, at the start, you have uh, interaction with people, then you have man, uh, mobility and manipulation. So all the three uh, important aspects of interactive robot. And we managed to do all the tasks very well, uh, quickly as well also. And all, uh, only the Nibro team uh, managed to go faster. So we, we were second place. This is a kind of, uh, of object you don't usually uh, manipulate in uh, industrial robots. So this is a, a rock, so really a natural object. And this uh, new robot is uh, planned to be released in 2024, so a bit more than a, a year from now. That's all for me, if you have questions. So we can get some questions from audience. Thank you for the presentation. And uh, I have one question. If, if you can uh, redo the competition at price, what it would it improve your uh, your performance? Oh, sorry, I didn't understand. The uh, phone was... Uh... Can you repeat, please? Now you can understand? Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, thanks for your presentation. And uh, yeah. my question uh, if you had the chance or the possibility to repeat the Anna Price performance, what you could improve? Mm. Um, I think what we have, the, the main problem we had is uh, the lack of time. So we will try to have more time to, to do. Uh, more iteration. It was the really first iteration of the robot. I think if we add one or two iteration more, we could have uh, go faster and maybe uh, be the first. But really, uh, I think this was only a problem of uh, having enough time to do multiple uh, iteration. I'm not sure I would change uh, anything on the robot. Just a, the same robot, but better. <laughs> Any other question? I have one question about your reach too. Do you have a plan for open sourcing your second version of the robot? Well, uh, yes, uh, open source is always uh, 
the or go to solution. Uh, it's not yet uh, clear what will be the final lessons and so on, but uh, we really think it will be also some kind of open source, both for hardware and software. So it's not yet clear how we will uh, release it, but uh, it's uh, it's something important for us. One more question. Uh, do you think you can get some uh, benefits as you do your open sourcing of your open platform software? Uh, sorry, I did. So, so, can you repeat, please? Uh, what was your? Uh, uh, do you think you can get some advantages uh, when you do your open sourcing your robot? What What could be the benefits from open sourcing? Ah, okay. Uh, well, it's uh, what we want to do is to have a massive diffusion of uh, of the work we are doing. So the so more is it's easy to the less friction you have to use the robot, the better is it. Um, we can't be anywhere on the planet, so if people uh, can take the project and continue to work on it. On the other side of the blog of the planet, it's a, it's a good thing. So it's it's really a, a question of uh, having the, the yeah the minimum friction to to use uh, your uh, your work. Yeah. Um, and until now, also as a company, as we are maybe the only one in the world doing this kind of thing it's it's also help us as uh, selling the robot because uh, people want open source and not a lot of people are uh, willing to to do open source robots so it also help us to to sell more robots thank you uh, any other question then we can switch uh, to the next speaker. Thanks.